Hello everybody, and welcome to another video review. This time, Transformers Deluxe Class Energon Inferno. As you can see, he is a fire truck of sorts. As Inferno usually is. Uh, the hose is rotated when you rotate this little water thing here. His head is blatantly just sticking out there, but at least the face is covered up. Sorry, that's hard to see. He does roll fine on his six wheels. Better than most modern Transformers, at least. Let's transform him. I'm going to remove his weapon, but you don't have to. Uh, flip back these little gray panels on either side. Unpeg the arms from the top. Fold down the back of the car. Put down his feet. Set, split his legs. Bring it all the way down. Pull down the arms and rotate them in position. Flip the panels back from the face and lift the head up, and there you have Energon Ironhide in his robot mode. For articulation, he has a ball joint in his neck, but it's on a pole, so it's kind of hard to work with. He has universal swivel shoulders, 90 degree elbow, uh, swivel above the elbow, nothing at the wrist, nothing at the waist, uh, limited universal hips, 90 degree knees, and that's about it for articulation. He can hold his gun, but it looks better mounted on his forearm. He does have the Energon Star right here on his shoulder, and a couple of Minicon ports as well. Or pegs, not ports. Um, as for his Power Links modes, to turn him into pants, fold out these pieces from the back of his legs, take off his gun, straighten out his arms, and push his shoulder armor over the forearm. Just slide it down. Oh! Try not to rip off the entire arm or knock over your camera. Uh, these just mounted on hinges. They're easy enough to pop back. Is that? Oh. Cover up the face with the panels and slide them back between the legs, which you fold forwards. Basically, return the legs to vehicle mode position and fold out those pieces in the back and split them. Slide the shoulder arm forwards. And that arm came unclipped again. Give me a moment. Handle that. Clip the arms back into the legs like they were in vehicle mode. Reattach the arm again. Keep the head folded up to the back. Fold back this panel. Flip up the grill. And there you have Inferno in his leg mode. Unfortunately, I do not have a PowerLink's partner for him to go with, but there you go. For shirt mode, flip these gray pieces back up, fold the arms down, flip these pieces straight up, and flip his feet with them. Fold the arms, basically return the arms to robot mode, but flip them upside down. Put his head in the correct position. Well, technically it's the correct position. Of course, flip back the panel from his face. Fold forward the big guns. And there you go. And he can, of course, hold his gun. Again, don't have a partner for him. So that's our John Inferno.
I do think he's a pretty fun toy. He's definitely one of the better John Deluxe's. So I'd say if you can find him for a good price, I got mine complete for 15 bucks. A shop called Vintage Villains. Um, yeah, I'd say highly recommended. So please like. So it's been me, Wireless. Please like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you all next time. I upload every Saturday and Sunday. Bye.